It's rush hour in Kigali, Rwanda's capital city. But a few hours eastward on a bus, and you find a completely different environment. Far from the hustle and bustle lifestyle of town, you'll find the country's own game park, Akagera. The 120 km stretch of reserve is home to a number of antelope, hippopotamus, snakes, birds, and more than 100 elephants, of which one is particularly special. The elephant we saw is called the Mutuari. Mutuari is in the Kinyarwanda name, which is meaning uh, chief. The elephant, they didn't accept that elephant like uh, colleague or friend. They, they decided to hate that elephant. And after seeing that elephant, normally it has no friend, the people decided to keep that elephant as a friend, blinging sugar cane, blinging bread, blinging everything. Uh, after that elephant became friend of people. Yeah, before genocide, you have many lions, more than 300 lions. But after genocide, the people, they missed how to manage those uh, lions because they went outside to kill their cows. They decided to poison all of them. Akagira was halved in size to accommodate returning citizens to Rwanda after the genocide. And efforts have been made to educate locals and alleviate any human-animal conflict. We have a, a community conservation department. They have to educate those people how they can behave in front of uh, uh, the park because we show them importance of the park. Every year, we support them to construct, uh, for example, the, the schools, the hospitals, health centers, and also we pay for children the, the, the school, for school fees. By midday, we have lost count of the number of game we have seen. And we're also lucky enough to have spotted some crocodile. Swimming here is forbidden, as there have been some attacks on humans in the past. But that doesn't deter the hippos, who are generally too large to be eaten by crocodiles, and thus command these waters. The adventure proves too much for some of our group, who take a nap after the drive is over. Akagira National Park is only one of the country's many tourist attractions, and should be a definite stopover on anyone's bucket list. <laughs>